Miocene, the true dawn of the apes. The Miocene epoch, spanning from approximately 23 to 5.3 million years ago, was a transformative period in Earth's history. It was a time of significant climatic shifts, geological upheavals, and most notably, the proliferation and diversification of early ape species. Often referred to as the real planet of apes, the Miocene is crucial for understanding the evolutionary pathways that led to modern apes and humans. This comprehensive overview explores the geological and climatic context of the Miocene, the evolution and diversity of ape species during this period, their ecological roles, interactions with other species, and the lasting legacy of this epoch. Geological and Climatic Context The Miocene was characterized by substantial geological activity, which played a critical role in shaping the Earth's surface and influencing its climate. The period saw the continued drift of continents toward their present positions. Notable geological events included the uplift of significant mountain ranges such as the Himalayas, the Rockies, and the Andes. These tectonic activities not only altered the physical landscape but also impacted atmospheric and oceanic circulation patterns. The Himalayan uplift, for instance, significantly influenced the monsoon system in Asia. As the Indian subcontinent collided with the Eurasian plate, the resultant orogeny created a massive barrier that affected the flow of moist air, leading to the establishment of the monsoon climate. Similarly, the rise of the Andes altered wind patterns and precipitation distribution in South America. The Miocene climate was generally warmer than today's, with varying degrees of warmth and cooling throughout the epoch. The early Miocene was characterized by a warm and humid climate, conducive to the expansion of tropical and subtropical forests. This warm phase is known as the Miocene climatic optimum, occurring around 17 to 15 million years ago. During this period, global temperatures were several degrees higher than present, and polar ice was minimal. However, the Miocene also experienced significant climatic fluctuations. Following the climatic optimum, the Earth gradually cooled, leading to the expansion of grasslands and savannas at the expense of forests. This cooling trend was influenced by various factors, including changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels, volcanic activity, and shifts in ocean currents. The cooling trend intensified during the late Miocene, leading to the establishment of more arid and seasonal climates in many regions. This period, known as the Messinian, was marked by the Messinian salinity crisis around 5.96 to 5.33 million years ago. The Mediterranean Sea almost entirely dried up due to the isolation from the Atlantic Ocean, drastically altering the region's climate and ecosystems. Evolution of Apes The early Miocene saw the emergence of several primitive ape species, which laid the foundation for the subsequent evolution of modern apes and humans. One of the most significant early Miocene apes was Proconsul, discovered in East Africa. Proconsul is often considered a transitional form between monkeys and apes, possessing a mix of primitive and derived traits. Proconsul had a relatively large brain for its size, forward-facing eyes, and a more flexible limb structure suited for arboreal locomotion. Unlike modern apes, it lacked the specialized adaptations for brachiation, arm swinging, seen in species like gibbons. Instead, Proconsul's limb proportions and joint structures suggest it moved through the trees using a combination of climbing and quadrupedal walking. Another important early Miocene ape was Moritopithecus, discovered in Uganda. Moritopithecus exhibited features that hinted at more advanced climbing abilities, such as a broad chest and a relatively upright posture. These traits suggest that the evolutionary experimentation with different forms of arboreal locomotion was already underway in the early Miocene. The Middle Miocene was a period of significant diversification for apes. The fossil record from this period includes a variety of ape species, each adapted to different ecological niches. One notable genus from this time is Afropithecus, discovered in Kenya and Saudi Arabia. Afropithecus had large, robust jaws and teeth adapted for processing tough vegetation, indicating a dietary specialization that set it apart from other contemporaneous apes. 
Another significant discovery from the Middle Miocene is Pyrolapithecus, found in Spain. Pyrolapithecus exhibits many features associated with modern great apes, including a broad, flat ribcage and a more upright posture. These traits suggest that Pyrolapithecus was well adapted to both climbing and some degree of terrestrial locomotion, representing a critical stage in the evolution of modern ape body plans. The Middle Miocene also saw the spread of apes beyond Africa into Europe and Asia. Fossils of species like Dryopithecus and Aranopithecus have been found in Europe, indicating that apes were adapting to a range of environments, from dense forests to more open woodland and grassland habitats. Dryopithecus, for example, had long arms and fingers suited for brachiation, while Aranopithecus exhibited more robust features that suggest a capacity for terrestrial locomotion. The late Miocene marked a critical period in ape evolution, driven by continued climatic changes and the expansion of more open environments. The cooling and drying trends of the late Miocene led to the reduction of forested areas and the spread of grasslands, exerting significant evolutionary pressures on ape species. One of the most significant late Miocene apes is Sivapithecus, discovered in the Indian subcontinent. Sivapithecus shares many morphological similarities with modern orangutans, suggesting a close evolutionary relationship. Sivapithecus had a concave face, projecting incisors, and a narrow interorbital distance, features characteristic of orangutans. These similarities indicate that Sivapithecus and orangutans likely share a common ancestor, highlighting the evolutionary continuity between Miocene and modern apes. Additionally, the late Miocene saw the appearance of Gigantopithecus, the largest known ape. Gigantopithecus lived in Asia and may have reached heights of up to 3 meters, 10 feet, when standing upright. Its massive size and robust jaw suggest it was adapted to a diet of tough, fibrous vegetation, such as bamboo. The existence of Gigantopithecus underscores the diversity of ecological adaptations among Miocene apes. Ecological Impact and Interactions Miocene apes played crucial roles in their ecosystems, both as consumers and as agents of ecological processes. As primarily frugivorous and folivorous animals, they contributed to seed dispersal and the maintenance of plant diversity. By consuming fruits and dispersing seeds through their feces, apes facilitated the spread of various plant species, promoting forest regeneration and biodiversity. In addition to seed dispersal, Miocene apes also influenced plant communities through their foraging behaviors. By feeding on leaves, stems, and other plant parts, they helped shape the structure and composition of vegetation. This herbivory had cascading effects on the ecosystem, affecting the availability of resources for other herbivores and altering the competitive dynamics among plant species. The interactions between Miocene apes and other animal species were complex and dynamic. Fossil evidence suggests that apes shared their habitats with a variety of mammals, including early elephants, rhinoceroses, and large carnivores. These interactions would have shaped the evolutionary trajectories of all species involved. Predation was a significant selective pressure for Miocene apes. Large carnivores, such as saber-toothed cats and bear dogs, posed constant threats to apes, influencing their behavior and adaptations. The need to avoid predation likely drove the development of social structures, communication systems, and defensive behaviors in ape populations. Miocene apes also interacted with other primates, both sympatric, living in the same geographic area, and allopatric, living in different geographic areas. Competition for resources, such as food and shelter, would have influenced the distribution and behavior of different primate species. The presence of diverse primate communities in Miocene forests suggests a range of ecological niches and strategies for coexistence. The Legacy of the Miocene Apes The Miocene epoch's significance extends beyond the diversity of ape species that thrived during this time. The evolutionary developments and adaptations that occurred in the Miocene laid the foundation for the emergence of the hominidae family, which includes modern humans and their closest relatives. 
One of the key evolutionary trends during the Miocene was the shift from primarily arboreal lifestyles to more terrestrial adaptations. This transition was driven by the changing environments of the late Miocene, which saw the expansion of grasslands and the reduction of forests. Apes that could exploit both arboreal and terrestrial habitats had a selective advantage, leading to the evolution of traits such as upright posture, flexible limb joints, and enhanced dexterity. The Miocene also witnessed the emergence of bipedalism, a critical adaptation that would later become a defining characteristic of hominins. Fossil evidence from late Miocene sites, such as the 7 million year old Sahelanthropus cadensis from Chad, suggests the early stages of bipedal locomotion. Sahelanthropus exhibited a mix of primitive and derived traits, including a relatively flat face and small canine teeth alongside a foramen magnum, the hole in the skull where the spinal cord passes through, positioned more centrally, indicating a more upright posture. The climatic and environmental changes of the Miocene also set the stage for the subsequent evolution of grassland ecosystems, which would become increasingly important in the Pliocene and Pleistocene epochs. The adaptations of Miocene apes to these changing environments foreshadowed the evolutionary strategies that would be employed by later hominins. The expansion of grasslands during the Miocene had profound effects on global biodiversity. The emergence of large herbivores, such as horses, antelopes, and elephants, was facilitated by the availability of open habitats and abundant grass. These herbivores, in turn, supported diverse predator communities, including large cats, hyenas, and canids. The dynamic interactions between herbivores and predators drove the evolution of complex ecosystems that persist to this day. The Miocene also left an indelible mark on the Earth's climate system. The cooling and drying trends of the late Miocene contributed to the establishment of modern climate patterns, including the intensification of monsoons, the development of arid regions, and the formation of polar ice caps. These climatic changes influenced the distribution and diversity of plant and animal species, shaping the course of evolution for millions of years. Conclusion The Miocene epoch was a time of remarkable evolutionary experimentation and diversification, particularly for the primate lineage. The real planet of apes during this period saw the rise of a wide array of ape species, each adapting to the diverse and changing environments of their time. The evolutionary innovations and adaptations that occurred in the Miocene laid the foundation for the emergence of modern apes and humans, providing crucial insights into the processes that have shaped the biodiversity of our planet. The legacy of the Miocene apes is still evident today as their evolutionary strategies and adaptations continue to influence the behavior and morphology of modern primates. By studying the fossil record and understanding the ecological and climatic context of the Miocene, we gain valuable perspectives on the evolutionary history of our own species and the broader patterns of life on Earth. The Miocene stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of changing environments, offering lessons that are as relevant today as they were millions of years ago.